there and welcome back to my channel if you are new here I am Sherry Elizabeth I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday all about Disney in today's video I am sharing with you the 11 things we take on every Disney World vacation I wanted to make it 10 but I couldn't rule any out so it's 11 it's fine these items are in no particular order but they are all things that we have learned that we need on every Disney World vacation so first is dish soap and this little guy so you're like why do I need dish soap so if you are on the Disney dining plan you are gonna receive one of these bad boys the design actually just changed but we have a bunch of these these are the refillable resort mugs you can also purchase these separately but they do come with your Disney dining plan and you can use it at your resort to get a variety of soft drinks coffee tea water whatever you want in it and if you are staying at the resorts for a week or so they can get a little gross. In fact, they have like dish washing stations at the resorts next to the drink fountains, but they're just like hot water and I don't feel like it does a great job, especially if you had soda in there and it was sticky. A lot of times what we'll do is we will fill these up and we will take them into the parks and then at the end of the night we will bring them back. And so I want to wash them. So I bring this little guy, I need to refill it. I don't remember where I got this, I don't know if you can get them like at Target or whatever. You really could put dish soap in any little container, I guess. So we take this and I wash them in the bathroom sink and I use this guy and I got this off of Amazon. I will go ahead and link this and all the products that I talk about in the description box below. But this is a little, I think it's like a travel like baby bottle washing thing. And it works really, really well. It comes with two um, little brushes and so I can brush out the refillable mug and then it fits three of the mugs here perfectly and so I put it next to the bathroom sink in the evening I wash them out wash them with soap and then let them air dry and it works out really really well for us the second random thing a carabiner I think I'm saying that right if I'm not please tell me I've heard other people say it other ways but carabiner seems to be the way that I hear it most so this guy, this is one of my smaller ones. I have a bigger one, but I can't find it. It might be somewhere in the car, but we use these at Disney World a couple different ways. So I will attach this to the stroller and then I can hang a bag on the stroller or the way we most often use it is this is a popcorn bucket. These are refillable popcorn buckets that they sell at all of the parks. This is kind of cumbersome, I think, to kind of hold. It doesn't really fit very well. So I just take the carabiner and I hook it on to the popcorn bucket like that. And then I hook this to the stroller. The other way that I use this is that I don't always, I'm weird, I know, I don't like to leave the popcorn bucket I don't like to leave the popcorn bucket um, on the stroller when we go into a ride, especially if it has popcorn in it. I feel like that's weird. So I will attach it to my bag. So here is one of my bags that I carry in the parks and I will just take it like this. Can you see that? And just attach it and it's attached to my strap and then I can actually wear my backpack and that will just kind of hang right there. You see a lot of people wear them, but love that. And then also with the dish soap in the evening, I will wash out the popcorn bucket as well. So another way that I use the dish soap. Number three is this little fan. Do I need to replace the batteries? Oh, I do need to replace the batteries. Anyway, it is one of those like little personal fans. Disney World is hot. I don't think it matters when you go. It's hot. We were there like right after Christmas. It was really hot. So um, I love this and it actually has like its own little carabiner on it also if you see. But this is easy to throw in my bag and then if I'm standing in line or like waiting for something or even just walking and it's hot, I can use this to cool myself off. Love that. Number four, and I know this sounds like a no brainer but I'm surprised how many people don't carry these in their purse. But maybe it's because I'm a mom. But uh, wet ones and these Clorox bleach wipes. So. 
this does not replace washing your hands, but sometimes if you are like eating a snack on the go and you're, um, you've washed your hands and then it maybe you had like a Mickey bar or something and your hands were sticky, this is a good way to quickly wipe them up and keep going until you can get to the bathroom. And then these I love because if you're sitting outside, sometimes tables are yucky or even sometimes inside the table hasn't been washed or a seat is yucky, I can quickly just wipe it off with this. I'm also one of those people that thinks that hotel rooms are filthy. And so when we get to the hotel room, I wipe down all the surfaces, including the remote control, um, with these Clorox wipes. Number five is quarters and pennies. So all around Walt Disney World are pressed penny machines. They are a great souvenir. They are a lot of fun. We're always on the hunt for um, pressed pennies that we don't have. Cost 51 cents. And so what I do is I, I always have these on hand, but I don't really save my quarters or my pennies. I'll just go to the bank before we go and get a roll of each. And then I put it in this little thing. This is a... This had, I think, mini M&Ms in it, I believe, because it says M&M, but I feel like there were mini. I think I got this at Target, and then I just decorated it, um, and then I don't keep all of my quarters and pennies in there because it weighs a lot, but I put a few in there, and then every day I replenish it with the pennies that we got, but it makes a great souvenir, and my son loves it. Number six is an external charger. When you're at Disney World, you are gonna use your phone a lot. If you're not taking pictures, you're checking the My Disney Experience app, and you're either using your data, which when there's a lot of people concentrated in a small area, you know, it'll take a long time for that data to kind of process and for things to load, and so you're pulling your battery. Um, and then the other thing is that they have Wi-Fi, um, but the same thing, all these people are on this Wi-Fi. So your battery will be drained. We usually have to recharge our phones at least once, sometimes twice during the day. This bad boy is a beast. It is by Power Ad. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link it below. It actually charges two phones at once. And this is kind of big and I know it's kind of heavy. It probably weighs like three or four pounds, does it say? No. Um, but I can charge two phones with two full charges. Does that make sense? Um, off of this battery pack without having to um, charge it which is good because if my husband and I are using our phones and we both need to charge it at the same time it makes it super easy um, or if we use them a lot and we're not going back to the hotel that day um, we can charge it multiple times so this thing has saved us many many times number seven is a poncho and this is my son's this is actually like the Disney Park poncho which these are expensive um, I think that they're like I think they're $15 now. Maybe they're not that expensive. Maybe they're 12 but still. Um, they are a lot, and they do rip. We've purchased a few of them, and I know that they replace them, um, but we've ended up throwing them away a couple of times. So when you are in Florida, it will rain. I have been there many different times of the year. It has always rained. That's just the way it is. A lot of times it'll just rain for maybe 20 minutes or so and then be done. Sometimes it'll rain all day, but we don't let the rain um, damper our park experience. In fact, when it rains, the parks are, they clear out a little bit. It's actually um, a little bit better and so we always carry the ponchos. Uh, my husband and I have switched to like reusable ponchos. This is, this was from the Hunter um, Target collaboration and it's just a giant poncho. I've also taken a raincoat before. Um, the last time I went I wore a raincoat and it rained so hard in such a short period of time the raincoat actually didn't keep me dry. So I will not be wearing that again. Um, but these ponchos just I feel like they're better than the disposable ones and then I just bring it home and I wash it and it works out really well. Number eight are Ziploc bags. Random, I know. I actually always keep Ziploc bags in the front um, compartment of my suitcase and I use Ziploc bags a lot. I love these really, really big ones. Um, these are great to take into Animal Kingdom. If you're going on Cali River Rapids, this was something that my friend Sarah told me to do. You can put your items in the Ziploc bag and stick it in front of you and then your clothes won't get wet, your stuff won't get wet. Um, I actually keep my ears in these, all of my, my ears. 
Um, or if you're going home and maybe have wet swimsuits or something, you can use these. I also keep an assortment of other size bags in my suitcase and use them for just random things. I feel like they take up no space and they're super light. So you never know when you need a Ziploc bag. Number nine is this guy. And do you even know what this is? It is a pop-up hamper. See that? And I just recently started traveling with this and we actually take it everywhere now and really can't live without it. Um, it lies totally flat in the suitcase. It goes, it's the first thing in the suitcase. And I like it because with the three of us with dirty clothes at the end of the night, it's easy to just throw them in here and keep them out of the way. We don't have like a big pile of clothes anywhere. They don't like get piled back in the suitcase. And then when it's time to pack, it's really easy to just pull everything out of here and pack it back up. Also, um, especially at Disney, I tend to do like a load of laundry sometime in our stay. It allows us to bring like less things. So your your pajamas, maybe your underwear. Um, sometimes my husband will wanna wear shorts a couple of times. So we're able to do laundry um, at the resort. And so I use this to just take the laundry to the laundry room and then bring it back. This has just really been a lifesaver. The last two items are really more if you have kids, but Number 10 is glow sticks. <laughs> so at night in all the parks, they sell an assortment of glowy light up items that are extremely expensive. Um, we have bought my son a couple of them and they're like 25 bucks for like a glowy thing um, that once he gets home, he really doesn't use. So I like to take our own glow sticks. I just go to Dollar Tree and I get packages of glow sticks they're a dollar and then I throw them in my bag the other great way that we use these is if we are standing in a line once it gets dark um, I will start popping them with my son and he can build them he likes to take the bracelets and kind of put them together and make different things and keeps them occupied and it's a lot of fun and then oftentimes other kids around us will see and so I pass them out to other kids as well but it's just an easy cheap thing to do for kids number 11 is this bad boy and I'm just gonna go ahead and insert a picture because you're like what is that this is a rain stroller cover so like I said you are in Florida and it will rain and if you have a stroller your stroller will get wet so this rain cover we got on Amazon it's a universal rain cover and it has really been worth its weight in gold. I know some people like will take a shower curtain and clips and, and use that and that that works for you, that's great. But this is super easy and it fits nicely. And so I don't kind of have to tug on it um, and adjust it once it's on, I know that it's gonna keep the stroller dry. So those are the 11 items that we take on every Disney World trip. If you have an item that I did not mention that you take on every Disney World trip, I would love for you to tell me in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe if you have not already. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!